Hi, I'm Jamie with An Oregon Cottage. This is my husband, Brian. And two years ago, we installed IKEA Butcher Block countertops in our kitchen. I always knew that I wanted wood countertops. I really like the look of them. Plus, they're easy to put in yourself and they're cost effective. And we had had them in our other house, in our kitchen, and I knew that they worked well. In our previous home, we just made our own countertops out of fur. But this time around, there was an IKEA close enough that we could use their Butcher Block countertops and we first installed them in our bathroom and then a few years later in our kitchen. When I posted about our kitchen remodel on the blog, I purposely didn't really talk much about the countertops because I wasn't really happy with how I stained the kitchen countertop. The important thing to know is that I've always used a water-based polyurethane to top our wood countertops. I've done this for two reasons. First, it is inexpensive and really easy to apply. You don't have to wait for days and days for it to dry. And um, it's, a, it's a really easy thing to do yourself. Second, I know that it wears really well. It's the experience I've had. And third, you do not have to keep applying something every month or every few months. You just put it on there and you don't have to worry about it again until you need to do a repair or fix an area. So there's a few things that you do need to do to maintain your countertops, even though we're not having to oil them down every month. And I want to share those with you because they've helped our counters really look as good today as the day we finished them. So the first is this um, really neat reusable cloth that we found. It's kind of like a cross between microfiber and foam. It comes really stiff like this, but then when you wet it, it's soft and it works really well to wipe up spills from counter. And we found this at a local store called Market of Choice. I'm sure they have them at Whole Foods and I've seen them on Amazon. The next thing is to always use a drying mat. Anytime you're going to put anything on the counter that you want to dry, including fruits and vegetables. It just helps to make sure you don't get water pooling that then you forget about. So one of the easiest ways to damage your wood countertops is with a knife. Um, so I in, have invested in a lot of different size cutting boards, the bigger the better. It's also the way that I don't really worry that the polyurethane's not food grade because I don't really put food on the countertops. I'm always using a cutting board and or a drying mat to put washed fruits and vegetables. So it's just not an issue. One of the areas that will probably start to show the wear first is next to the sink where there's a lot of water. And so I wanted to make sure that even though you know to use a dish mat because I just mentioned that, it is still damp underneath the dish mat, and dampness is what will occur, will cause that finish to wear. So you do have to remove it after the things are dried. Installing butcher block countertops are actually a lot easier than you might think, but you gotta do three things. Number one, first you gotta think through before you do anything. You need to carefully measure the space where the countertops are going to go, how far out you want the lip of the counter to come. Then you can buy your countertops and then you can tear out the old countertops. Then the second thing you need to do is very carefully measure the countertop to go in the space. And then when it comes to cutting the countertops, we have a video on a trick for doing that accurately and very easily, just using a skill saw. And then finally, you want to get help because butcher block is really heavy. And when you do the final install, you, you're going to want somebody to help you set it into place. A challenge we ran into on our sink where the dovetail started to come apart happened because we put the sink too close to the front of the counter and the strip of wood holding it in from the front was too narrow. So after two years of a continuous use, the only flaw that's really become apparent is a little bit of warping in a couple spots, um, especially by the stove. If you find that water has sat on your countertops for an amount of time and you wipe it up and you see that there's a white filmy mark left, don't worry or freak out. It won't stay there. It will dissipate in a short amount of time. So if you've ever wondered if wood countertops would work in a kitchen or bathroom, we're here to say that they do. And we love them, and they're cost effective, easy to put in yourself, and with the polyurethane coating, they're really low maintenance.